Well, good evening. Amen. We praise God once again from whom all blessings flow. It's another beautiful Tuesday night. Amen. And we honor once again, and as always, the God of our salvation, the God that made the heavens and the earth. Amen. And we get, and unto him be glory, majesty, dominion, and power now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We just thankful unto God who has yet bestowed grace upon us. Amen. Amen. And we're, we're thankful unto him. Amen. The God of our salvation. He's our rock. Amen. He's our very present help. Amen. Amen. None like him. Amen. And we honor him on tonight. Amen. And before we go any further, we're going to actually uh, uh, take prayer requests. Amen. For those of you that may have a request on tonight. Amen. And after we receive our prayer request, we're going to ask if our minister, Connie Lathan, uh, will lead us in a word of prayer uh, before we begin our, our Bible study and discussion. All right. Uh, those of you have, and those of you that are watching us online, amen, we know that you, some of you are seeing this live, some of you are seeing this recorded, we believe in God for you, amen, no, ma no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with in your life, amen, we serve a God that's a problem solver, amen, there's no, there's no situation, no circumstance too hard for God, and we believe in God on your behalf, amen, that God will intercede, amen, and have his perfect will in your life, whatever you're dealing with, we know that God is able. Amen. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. On tonight. Amen. Amen. Any other prayer amen. requests? Come on and share at this time. Amen. God bless you. This is Brother Latham. I ask that everybody continue praying for the Walker and Green family. Amen. Absolutely. On behalf of the following one who had the home going service this weekend. Amen. Absolutely. Continue praying for the Pittman. Moody family. Absolutely. Amen. We believe in God for them. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Any other prayer requests? Come on. Yes. Hey, to me, uh, tomorrow I go uh, for my treatment tomorrow and talk. I'll talk to my doctor and all like that, but uh, just pray that everything is well. Amen. And uh, God has continued to do what he does. And just pray for our whole family. A husband, thank God for him. The Lord get continue to give him strength and uh, pray for uh, this world and this country. Pray for our president. Mm -hmm. Lead him and direct him in the right direction. Amen. Amen. Things that go bring us into craziness. But uh, pray, pray. Uh, even uh, even with people even getting out of there, some people of color found themselves mm -hmm. being treated a little different than other people. So just pray that. God will let people know that, uh, you know, this is why I think because we got all this, like we not human beings, you know, we're not supposed to be making difference, you know, in Christ, mm -hmm. man, black, nor white, mm -hmm. you know, brown, yellow, green, and, you know, we all mm -hmm. one, and even when he made man, you know, mm -hmm. one man, one woman, we all come from the same man and woman. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But we're one. And just pray that God will let them pray. Got six waiting. Just passing them over. And just pray that they will, Lord, know God is able to help them. Amen. 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 We believe in God for that. Amen. 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 I, I've often shared, amen. Uh, a lot of people don't understand, but there's only one race, and that's the human race. Amen. 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 We are our uh, sisters and brothers. Amen. 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 And we believe in God. Amen. Thank you so much, God. Overseer Shaw. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Any other prayer requests? God bless you. Sister Ray, I want to uh, pray for the fields and my entire family as we go through um, what we're going through right now. Thank the Lord for showing favor to my cousin. Um, they don't generally let, allow you to look at the body before they um, dress it. But he told him, he said, I just got to see my mother. And I thank God that they allowed him to look at his mother today. And she just looked like she was asleep. So you all continue to pray for the family. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. We believe in God. Amen. That we know we serve Amen. God as the God of all comfort. Amen. Amen. We give that to your entire family oh. comfort in this hour. Amen. God bless you. Any other prayer requests? Come on. Yes, pray, pray for Patricia Bell 
she suffered a seizure three months ago and she had a strap for covering from a head surgery. Amen. Leave a God for her. Amen. Any other request? Any other requests? Come on. Yes, I'd like to ask for prayer for my husband and myself and all of my family. And for uh, Overseer Shaw and Minister Barry and Amen. all of us are here on the call of us. Amen. 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 We believe in God for you and your uh, husband. Amen. Mother James. God bless you. Amen. All right. Uh, any other requests? Come on, real quickly. Yeah, this is this is Nate. Continue to pray for me. Pray for all the sick people, all the people that have got people that's past what they're going through. You know, uh, we just gonna continue to live on God's promises. And as long as we stay with His promises, you know, we might not see it, but we're gonna be all right. Amen. And I pray for the people in in. in what is that, Ukraine, Ukraine, or yeah. if I'm pronouncing it right, you know, because those people right now, they have no control of what's going on in their life. Mm -hmm. You know, children are getting killed. Yeah. Innocent people are getting killed. You know, we want to pray for that country. Amen. We want to put a shield on what's going on over there. We know that uh, nothing happens without this say so. But you know, we as humans, we live in the sense of these things. So we want God to look down on our country and this country. Absolutely. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. All right. Are there any other requests? Huh? If not, amen. amen. I request pray for my husband, Junior. Yes, Amen. God bless you, Minister Sandra. Amen. We believe in God for him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Brother Carwell. God bless you. Amen. All right. Any other requests before we... Uh... All right. If not, then we're going to turn this over uh, to the, uh, to our minister, uh, Connie Lathan, and she'll lead us in, in prayer on tonight. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We come humbly. We come humbly, Lord, as your children, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, and we are standing on all your promises that you have given us, Lord Jesus. We ask you, Father God, that you continue to bless all of us who are going through illnesses, Father God. For you are the great physician that heals our bodies, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for protecting our children, Father God. Cover all and each and every one of us because we are all your children, Father God, young and old. In your precious blood, we ask for the plea, we plead the blood of Jesus over everybody's life, Father God. Yes, God. We thank you for overseer Shaw, Father God. We thank you for keeping her, Father God. And the next time she see her doctor, it's going to be a great report because yes. you are healing her body right now, Father yes. God. Yes. We stand it, Father God, on all that you have given us and all you are doing for us. We ask you, Father God, to be with all the families that are grieving, Father God. But you said you are the one that comforts us when we Amen. grieve, Father God. As long as we have you, Father God, we know that there is a brighter day tomorrow, Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes. We thank you, Father God, for being there for our pastors, yeah. our church leaders. We ask you to be there with the, the leaders of the world, Father God, because you put all those people in power, Lord Jesus. We ask that you be with that Russian president right now, Father yeah. God. Yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, Lord Jesus, but we know that that the people of Ukraine are covered by your blood too, Amen. Father God. We all are your children, Father, no matter what denomination or what our, our religious belief we believe, Father. We believe Amen. in you, Lord Jesus. We believe in you, Father God, because you are the maker. You are the, the maker of this world. Amen. You have all these people in your hands, Father God. We are all in your hands, Father God. And whatever happens, Father God, we know that you are in control. 
because we have been for peace to be a defeated foe. Yeah. We thank you, Father God, just being there for the Woody's, the, the Pittman's, thank the Walkers, the Greens, yes. for all of your people, Lord, all those that are coming to you, God, and we thank you, Father God, for the ability to talk to you. Yeah. Because without you, where would we? We have to keep to you, Lord, each and every day. Yes. We thank you for that privilege to talk to you, Lord, come to you in prayer and supplication and, and know that you are there listening to us yes. and that you are there to take care of us. Yes. This I pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. All right. This time we're going to jump right into our uh, Bible study and discussion. Uh, we're going to do a screen. Hey, yeah. Oh. Sure. Oh yeah, I let her. Uh, you had your eyes closed. I think I let her. In. All right, that's fine. Thank you. So hey, Barkey. Thank you so hey. much. Hey. Mm. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna do a screen share. Uh, I, I look like I may be having a slight issue with my internet, so y'all just pray for this internet. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. We're actually. Uh, we're actually on part three of what we've been discussing for the past couple of weeks, uh, talking about a pattern of apostasy. This is part three on tonight. We want to continue this uh, Bible study and discussion on this topic about the pattern of apostasy. Uh, I encourage you, amen. Uh, we got some good scriptures as always, amen. On uh, Tonight, please feel free to take notes, amen, and write these scriptures down that you'll know them and you'll be able to meditate on them. Amen. All right. A pattern of apostasy. All right. Now, what will happen uh, when apostasy, uh, apostasy will happen. In fact, if we allow it, apostasy will happen if we allow it. Now, how will it, how will it happen? It can come by stealth. In other words, sneak in in such a way that you you know, uh, uh, you, you know, it, it almost uh, uh, like nobody would even notice it, but it'll sneak in. And afterwards, what happened, we'll realize, not realize the great change that we've in fact made because of the fact that you've fallen into a state of apostasy. Now, hmm. I like to start off by saying that some teach that we cannot fall from grace. Some people teach that we cannot fall from grace. But we've shown in previous Bible studies uh, on this uh, study that such teachings does not agree with the Bible. All right. Amen. Uh, our, our, our progression and steps of apostasy up to this point are, what have we discussed previously? We talked about flirtation. We've talked about consideration. We've talked about toleration. And we've last week we talked about accommodation all right today i want to talk we want to deal with contamination we want to deal mm. with contamination on today all right in regards to apostasy not only is error not abuse but in fact it's embraced that's what's going on unfortunately a lot today all right when people are in error uh instead of them being corrected instead of us speaking up speaking out uh people who embrace people that are in error these folks now seek to, in fact, do what? They remove the stigma of the name of the Church of Christ and distance themselves, in fact, from those who are narrow-minded and intolerant of, of, of a new, uh, uh, different, and other ways. All right? Now, the message of truth has changed, in fact, to what to do? To embrace everyone, and it's not limited only to a faithful few. Uh -huh. Now, the next step is what? Capitulation capitulation let's talk about that now as the movie title uh y'all heard about that movie it was a, a movie that came out some years back called sleeping with the enemy all right now those who were once considered the enemies in fact of the cross of the truth now what they're, they're now embraced as brethren of the great family of god and what do they do being that they've been embraced and people uh, uh, accept them any kind of way in every kind of way uh, they, ex we, they exchange pulpits, their message is watered down as what, as what the locals get on a weekly, or should I also say, say to weekly W-E-E-K-L-Y or weekly W-E-A-K-L-Y basis. <laughs> now to capitulate 
The word capitulate, what does that mean? It's to give up truth for what? For a lie or in fact the expression. When you capitulate uh, uh, something, you give up the truth for a lie of the distortion. And in fact, it's almost as if though you endorse it, you know, you approve of it, you know? Uh, and what happens? It becomes a falling away from the faith when you capitulate, all right? Now, what does the word of God tells us in regard, talks about in regards to this? Isaiah chapter 30, verses eight through 11 says what? Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Uh-huh, all right? The reason why he, he instructed them to write it so that they would remember it, so that it'd be written and when something is written, you can go back to it and refer to it, all right? But, and then he went on to speak about those people at that particular time in history. He talked about that they were a rebellious people. And what type of, what were they doing? Lying children. And they were in fact children that would not hear the law of the Lord. They would not hear the truth. Verse number 10 goes on to say, who say to these seers, see not? And to the prophets, prophesy not unto the right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. See, this is what folks want, unfortunately, today, all right? Uh, not And want not accepting the truth, they rather believe a lie or accept a lie than the truth. Don't tell us the right thing. Don't tell us what we, uh, tell us what we want to hear, not what we need to hear. Uh, uh, scripture goes on to say what? Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy, in fact, deceits. Look at verse 11, get you out of the way, turn out of the path, Co cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from being before us. See, when you fall into the past, uh, a, a state or a pattern of apostasy, that's what'll happen, amen. You, you actually embrace uh, uh, the truth, I mean the lie, excuse me, rather than the truth, amen. amen. Right. Capitulation, capitulation, Jeremiah, Chapter 5, verses 30 and 31 says what? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. What was going on? And the, the verse 31 said what? And the prophets, they did what? They prophesied falsely. And the priests, in fact, bared rule by their means. Do y'all see this here? And my people loved it so. But what will you do at the end thereof? Uh-huh. See, people want to try to have it their way, but you can't have it your way. It's got to be God's way. Amen. And he said he will. He not only that, he won't have any other gods before us. All right. There won't be no, no other teaching, no other uh, anything which is not of the truth. Amen. Nehemiah will not be accepted. Nehemiah chapter nine, verses 26 through 31 says what? Nevertheless, listen to this here. Uh, nevertheless, they were disobedient and they rebelled against thee. And they and what did they do? And cast thy law behind their backs, and they slew. Slew means kill. They killed the prophets, testified against them, uh, 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 and returned to thee. And they wrote great provocations. All right. Therefore, what happened? Thou didst deliver them into the hands of their enemies, who vexed. Vexed means oppressed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. And in accordance to thy manifold mercy, God, thank God for his yet his grace and mercy. Thou gave it them saviors who did what? Who saved them from the hands of their enemies. But oftentimes we've seen this happen. We're talking about apostasy again. Uh, when God delivers us, it's a sad state and time. But folks, are, uh, they give God praise. God bring them out. And then they just turn, go back and turn it back again on God. Look at verse 28. But after they had rest, they did what? Evil again before thee. Therefore thou did what? Left them again into the hands of their enemies so that they would have dominion of them. Yet when they returned and cried unto thee, thou heard from heaven. And many times, many times thou didst deliver them according to thy mercies mm -hmm. and testified against them. Good God from Zion. Amen. That mm -hmm. thou may bring them again unto thy law. Yet they did, they dealt profoundly and hearkened not unto thy commandments, but they did what? They sinned against his judgment. Mm -hmm. And and which which if a man if a man do, then if a man do, then shall he live. And withdrew and withdrew the shoulder and the hardening of their necks. And what happened? They would not hear. 
Verse 30 goes on to say what? Yet many years did thou forbear them and testified against them by the spirit of thy prophets. Yet they would not give ear. Therefore thou gavest them what? Into the hands of the people of the land. Nevertheless, in thy great mercy's sake, thou didst not utterly consume them, uh, nor forsake them. For thou art a gracious and merciful God. We thank God for God's grace. We thank God for his mercy. Amen. While, Amen. Listen, while you still have the breath of life in your body, Amen. God's grace and mercy is still up yet upon you. Amen. But uh, Amen. I often say, Amen. Don't don't procrastinate to do uh, put off to for tomorrow for what you could do today. We how long do we have? Not long. We don't know how long. Right. We have. Amen. 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 Somebody's got background noise. Excuse me. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, how long do we have? Not long. I believe, uh, uh, I think it's over in the book of Hebrews. It says, shall we continue in sin? I think it talks about, and grace may abide. God forbid. It's not going to happen. Amen. Yeah. You can't continue to do what you want to do. Amen. And think you're going to get away with it. Amen. 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 You, mm. Amen. You're going to eventually reap. Amen. Even as the children of Israel did, even at that time, in this particular portion, passion, uh, uh, portion of history, of uh, which this recorded in Bible. Amen. They reaped it what they sowed. Amen. Amen. And then, and we're going to go on. And this brings us to our last step. All right. Condemnation. Condemnation. All right. Condemn. We need. Listen. We need to con hear me on tonight. Amen. You need to condemn the preachers. Of righteousness, uh, condemn the preachers of righteousness and those who would follow them. Mm. Uh huh. Uh, could, uh, that's what people will do. Amen. Condemn anyone who would promote the truth. Amen. This is these are people that are in apostate state. That's what they do. Amen. But but who will have the ultimate condemnation? Who's in fact going to have the ultimate condemnation? Matthew chapter seven and verse twenty one through twenty three tells us. It says what? Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But who, who's going to, who, who, but he who does the will of my father, which is in heaven, there's mm. going to be many that will say to me on that day, Jesus is talking here, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? And in your name, did we cast out devils in your name? And we perform many wonderful works. And then mm. he said, I did, I will profess unto them. I never knew you. Depart from me. Yeah, I knew you, you that work mm. iniquity. Good God from Zion. Matthew chapter 15, verses 8 through 9 says what? This people, what do they do? See, this is what folks will do. I mean, people will draw nigh unto me with their mouth, and they'll honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. See, you know, listen, family and friends, we could, you, you know, we could, people can fool people, but you can't fool God. He said, but their heart is far from me, because God knows your heart. Yeah, fool God. <laughs> Book of Samuel reminds us even too Amen. that for a man that looks at the outward appearance anyway, but God looks upon your heart. Amen. Verse nine says what? But Amen. in vain, what do they do? They worship me, teaching for doctrines and the com uh, for commandments of men. Amen. If if what if what people are talking about and, 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 and claim that they're preaching about. If it does not line up with the word of God, do not accept it. Amen. Matthew chapter 15, verse 14 says what? Let them alone. Hear this on tonight. Amen. This word is for somebody. Let them alone. God is speaking to us in his word, family and friends. Let them alone. They that are blind, leaders of the blind. Mm. And if the blind Amen. leads the blind, what will happen? Both shall fall the into the ditch. Hear yeah. the word on tonight. Amen. Condemnation. Matthew chapter 23, verses 27 through 33. He, he, he says what? Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like white <laughs> sepulchers, which indeed, indeed appear beautiful on the outside. But a within full of dead men's bone and uncleanliness. You ain't right on the inside. Even so, Amen. too outwardly, you appear righteous to men. But inwardly, you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you build the tombs of the prophets 
and garnish the sepulchers of the righteous and say, if we had been living in the days of our fathers, we would have not been part partners with them in the blood of the prophet. Wherefore you bear witness unto yourself that you are the children of them who killed the prophets. Amen. You gotta, you gotta um, listen. There's a consequence for your actions. Amen. Amen. Fill up then the measure of your fathers, you serpents, you generation of vipers. How shall you in fact escape the damnation of hell? Amen. And that's going to be your just reward. Amen. Amen. In conclusion, amen. What God, God respect reserves judgment for all those who transgress his laws and his will. God reserves judgment for all those who transgress his law and his will. And let us family and friends, amen, take notice of these trends. And we need to take up the cause of Jesus Christ. Let us hold fast uh, forth the gospel message in its purity. Amen. Amen. Let us maintain also the purity of the church, rely upon also to the authority of the scriptures, the word of God. Amen. 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 Everything is going down but the word of God. Amen. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God's going to stand forever. Glory to God. Glory to God. And, and, and make and I and I pray and I continue prayer is say God in fact have mercy upon us. Somebody's got background noise. If you can mute that out. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We're gonna stop screen share right there. We want to continue this uh, discussion on tonight. Amen. Amen. Pattern of apostasy. Amen. Uh, part three. Pattern of apostasy. Part three. All right. I want to continue this uh, discussion on today. Amen. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Glory to God. Amen. And we and we don't want to. We we don't we don't want to fall into the state. Um, how can we, in fact, uh, avoid uh, falling into uh, apostasy? We got to uh, humble ourselves. You know what? When we when we put it all, when we line up everything out, lay it out on the table. You know, lay out your lay out. Just be. The scriptures tell us what for to own our, to our own self be true. We got to be true to ourselves. We first of all got to humble ourselves. All right, and also Amen. to humbling ourselves, we need to have the ability also to to uh, forgive others. Amen. Don't be so quick to point your finger at somebody else, but but make sure we keep a. You know, it's we got enough to do to maintain to 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 to, 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 to hold fast to our soul Amen. salvation Amen. of ourselves. Amen. Amen. But we gotta for, humble ourselves, Amen. forgive others. We need to Amen. keep our covenant. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Continue to strengthen ourselves by Amen. doing what we're doing. Amen. Bible study, prayer. Amen. Amen. And and every opportunity, even chance you get. Get what like, and we're doing this by way of social media, even on tonight. Amen, 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 amen. Get, but get with and be around, surround yourself with like-minded believers. Amen. And I've said this in the past. Amen. You can't, you can't be, you can't, you can't be uh, uh, hanging around folks that's not like-minded mm. such as yourself. Amen. Amen. I, I, amen. I shared this analogy some weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago. It's just like having a, a have the reddest, juiciest apple. And you know how if an apple's real red, generally it's probably real sweet. I could have that apple in my hand, in my possession, and I could have a, a ba another basket of apples that may have been sitting outside for the longest time. And at this point, they done got rotten. And I could have the beautiful, nice, shiny apple. I could lay this apple in the midst of all those rotten apples. And guess what? Them them rotten apples ain't gonna turn good. But the good <laughs> apples, but the good here we go tonight, but the good apples gonna turn bad. Gonna turn bad. Why? Because Amen. in the midst of all that bad apples. Amen. We don't want to fall into no state of apostasy. This, this, Amen. This, this, 
I, this this is so, I don't know why the Lord had led us to just talk about this, but this is such an important matter. And a lot of times people take this for granted and take this lightly, but don't take this lightly. Amen. 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 Don't fall into a state of apostasy. Amen. We mm -hmm. want to avoid that by every means, by every way, by every opportunity. How do we Amen. do that? Get into the word of God. In the word, the old song, right? Old, old saints used to say, for in the word of God, I got a hiding place. Glory to yes. God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Listen. A amen. And I believe I heard Brother Larry, uh, Minister Larry, talk about uh, I I I idle mind is the devil's hangout, something like that. <laughs> you know amen. what? You you got you got too much, amen, to amen, to be involved with, amen, to have an idle mind. Amen. You ain't got time to get in trouble. Amen. You got you got time. You got just enough time. I'm talking to somebody on tonight. You got just enough time to run like you never ran before for your life. Amen. Do not and don't fall into the pattern of apostasy. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. 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 Get connected, amen, with like-minded believers. People ain't walking right, ain't talking right. Get away from them fast as you can. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. To God. Who the Son sets free is is free indeed. Free Amen. Indeed. Amen. But because God and because Christ has set us free, we're no longer entangled. We're no longer in the yoke of bondage. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Amen. But we want to just. Amen. We want to just continue to just stay strong in the Lord. Amen. And, then, Amen. and how do we do that? Pray. Pass. Seek the face of the Lord. Get in his word. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And you won't fall, amen, into a pattern of apostasy. Because it could happen to anybody at any time. You know, it's, it's just like, listen, 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 listen. In order for us to live, we got to eat. You don't eat, yes. you drink, guess what? You dying. <laughs> you don't eat and you don't drink. You are going to die. Amen. Amen. This is what God wants us to do. He wants us to desire the sincere Amen. milk. Of God. Glory to God. Amen. This is our Amen. This is our bread of life. Glory Amen. To God. Amen. Amen. Fred Hammond sing that song. He's at the said, bread of life sent from glory. Glory to Amen. God. This is our this is our bread of life. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, <laughs> amen, it, 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 there's nobody on the face of the world that can make me doubt God. Amen. 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 Nobody can make me doubt him. Amen. Why? Because I, I've known too much. Know too much about him. Amen. Hey. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 And we just want to, I just want to yes, encourage amen. you all tonight. Don't yes, fall amen. into the state of apostasy. Because mm -hmm. it it, 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 we could so easily Amen. So easily. Amen. If we if we're not rooted and grounded in him, amen, amen. And even as our brother Ray has always emphasized, amen, we got to maintain a, 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 a spiritual life. Amen. Have the Holy Spirit residing on the inside of us. Amen. To lead us amen. and direct us. Amen. And that's what makes the difference anyhow. Amen. And we got the spirit of God on the inside of us. Amen. But, but we'll have a desire to want to read his word every time we get, every chance we get. Amen. Every opportunity we get to pray. Amen. Every opportunity and chance we have an opportunity to do so. Amen. We will fast. Amen. Lay our face before the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. We don't want to fall in a pattern of apostasy. Amen. Somebody has a comment, want to share? Mm. Come on at this time. Mm. Let's, let's talk and discuss even further about the subject on tonight. A pattern of apostasy. Come on. Ambassador's Brother Latham. God bless you. God bless you, Overseer of Virginia Show. God bless you, ma'am. Uh, Pastor, first of all, I'd like to say I just thank you for bringing forth this message on apostasy, because that's just what's happening now in times like this, uh, Pastor. You know, in times like this, the Bible says in times like these, people are going to turn away from sound doctrine. Come on. And that's, that's exactly what what's happening. That's Absolutely. what's happening today. Yes. And if you really listen to what apostasy is, 
Apostasy is the, really about people that were very reversed and grounded in the word of God. That's right. They were once part of us. Mm. But what have they done? Just like you have been teaching us and bringing to the forefront for the last couple of weeks, yep. they have tolerated, they have yep. accommodated, and they have flirted, you understand, yep. with people that have really slowly but surely was into the simplest act. And what have they done as Christians? They have sat back and said nothing and they've done nothing. When people are doing things in front of you and you're supposed to be a Christian, you got to rebuke those things. First of all, as a Christian, especially in times like this, don't, don't fellowship. Don't fellowship or come with, with people. Uh -huh. With people that you know are not walking the, the walk that you are trying to Let's say walk the same path that you are walking down. That's okay? Good. Don't 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 walk that. And and like you say, apost apostasy, you could be into apostasy because it's a subtle movement away from God. It's it's really a, a subtle movement away from God where people slowly but surely get into the act of a uh, really blasphemous thing. You understand? They get out there, they now they're renouncing God and Jesus as Lord, and they get into an uh, act of really insulting God. You understand? People that, also, uh, people that often live a life of apostasy, they were once prophets, evangelists, preachers, and teachers, right? But they fell by the wayside but because they, had, they tried to tolerate certain conditions and accommodate, and they slowly but surely moved away from God, from, from God start listening to, to uh, uh, false prophets and preachers, yeah, yeah. you understand, instead of listening to, to, to uh, God's doctrine, they start listening to man's doctrine, you understand, then slowly but surely, they fell into a, a, a life of apostasy. That's why we have to be mindful of who we fellowship with and very mindful of who are ministering to you, okay? And That's I good. found that in a, when a person is into a life of apostasy, like Jesus said, some things come by fast and free. Uh-huh. You cannot really minister a God to them because they already know what does say the word of the Lord, but they turn their back on that. They turn they back, they're very knowledgeable. They, they, they're very knowledgeable of what they are doing, okay? And the best thing that we can do in those situations, like you said, leave them alone. Leave them alone. Leave him alone. Then the word, but leave All right, him yeah. alone. Thank you. Yeah, uh, we, got, we got a little background noise. I think, uh, hold on a second. All right. Well, this is Minister Latham. I think the act of apostasy comes about when people who are in high positions within the, the ministries, uh, they lead other people astray. Yeah. Because they start teaching, well, we all have leaders and we all want to be led by people that we think know what they're talking about. But if you don't read the word for yourself and you don't oh, study the word for yourself, yeah. then yeah. you can be led astray Absolutely. easily. Yeah. You know, so it's not about, um, sometimes it's not about being sneaky. Sometimes it's just being um, over it out there is not they're not sneaky at all they just too boisterous they're, they're not humble blank, blank. They, yes they blatantly are leading people astray and if people well they say we like sheep and we're being led well like sheep we might be led but if you're not reading your word like sheep sheep of jesus christ and you become sheep of someone else then you can be led astray into apostasy Mm -hmm. So it's it's about people knowing who, who they are following and knowing what the word says. Because you if you got to take a Bible to church with you every Sunday. You can't rely on a man up there in the pulpit to have a Bible. If he's not reading from the Bible, then he can tell you anything. Mm -hmm. You got to read it for yourself. Yes, you got to study it for yourself, too. So you will know exactly what the word is trying to tell you. Also ask God to baptize and anoint you with the Holy Spirit. So if they give you revelation. Well, first and foremost, hopefully as a child of God, you already got the Holy Spirit. If you are walking in as a child of God. If you are, you say you're Christian, then the spirit of God is supposed to be with you. 
And if you don't have the spirit of God, you better ask for it. I think it's a free gift, but you don't have to ask for it. And once you baptize, if you baptize in water and then baptize in fire, then you got the Holy Ghost. So Amen. you're not easily led astray. You shouldn't yeah. be. That's right. If we follow the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Well, not only, not only if that, but if you follow in with the spirit of the Lord, the spirit is in you. You know, you know, we we talk about the word and I think about, you know, a lot of people think the word, it didn't stop at the Old Testament because the word went on while Christ was here on earth in the New Testament. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. When he was made Amen. flesh. When he was made flesh. So, you know, when you talk about the word, the Bible said the word was made flesh. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. You know what Amen. I'm saying? And, you know, I look at it like when you said that don't say all the things I did in your name right. because I never knew you. That's Jesus. Yeah. So there's a lot that's of people you know, that know the word because Lucifer knows the word. The devil mm. knows. Oh, he was there Amen. when it was written. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? But the thing about it, you know, one of the key things to stay away from that, you got to know Jesus for yourself. Mm. Yeah. Know for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know, I go to church every Sunday. But I ain't going to church to worship the pastor. Amen. No, whatever he says, it don't mean nothing. If I don't know Jesus for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and the word, like I say, it says man mm -hmm. cannot live by bread alone. You know, it's talking about the spiritual bread that you eat. You, uh -huh. you understand? And, and like I say, if you're walking in the spirit and you stand with Jesus, I would say 50% of your day, you ain't got time to stray away. You ain't got time. <laughs> Amen. That's the key. Eyes on the sparrow. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? Where's your eyes at? Where's your help? You know, we always quote these scriptures, and if we can't live within these scriptures, and something is wrong right there. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what he says, you know, I thank God for his promises. Amen. Because he promised us that he would lead us and guide us. He's, I will be with you always. He's with me always. Any time of the day, I can say, Jesus, he's there. You know what Amen. I'm saying? Like I say, if you living right and living holy, and God ain't saved you just to give you up. Mm -hmm. That's you know for sure. Saying? You know, and you know, and, you know, I think it says with the Holy Ghost comes power. Yes, yes, yes. You, all this power. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You got, it says, you know, faith you can move mouths. You got all this power. You ain't got time. <laughs> and, you know, I think about, you know, me and James this ago, I think this minister's name was Pierce or something like that. He was a preacher. He turned this whole thing around. He'd been preaching for years. Supposed to be. He was in the pulpit speaking the word of God. You know, he changed and then he said that he don't think people die of sin. He was saying all this different stuff. You know, and like I said, so many people. I know people that was preachers and Muslims. I said that, and like I said, when God says he never knew you, He's talking spiritually. Amen. But Jesus said that he's talking because he knows everybody in the world. Yeah. He made everybody. He was never one of mine. That's yeah. what he's saying. I never knew. Right. You know, and like we talked before, everybody say Christian ain't holy. Amen. That just means I'm the Christ. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we strive to Jesus. In our life. To get as close as we can to be Christ like. Mm -hmm. We ain't got time to be going through this other foolishness. And if you're doing this other foolishness, you're dealing with sin. The Holy right. Ghost ain't in you. Uh -oh. Amen. Uh oh. <laughs> you know, I mean, when we think about it and we start studying the word, you know, that's the reason why I think for his mercy, for his grace, the wisdom, the knowledge that he's given you. And like I say, the more, the, more, the more the word open up. And, 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 you know, I'm always talking about, you got to get on that level where it's just you and Jesus. 
Yeah. That's how you get to know him. That's it. That's it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we always say so many things, you know, and he's going to, we say prayers answer. Prayer mm -hmm. and faith. Those two are the keys. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? It's like mm -hmm. overseas, y'all is talking about going through tomorrow. She asked for prayer and she got faith that everything is going to be all right. That's right. It's Amen. You, you, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, we always talk about, well, we should walk in the spirit. The spirit is living in us. Yeah. You know, and like I said, for everything that's on that people speak about, there's something in the word that's pro, which we always say Jesus is dancing. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the word. Jesus is Amen. dancing. You know, all we got to do is just keep doing what he tells us to do. And follow him. That's it. Amen. Good word. Absolutely. Hello. Good word. Good blessing. Blessing. Mm -hmm. God bless you, D. God bless you. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Amen. Listen, uh, I, as, as you've been talking, and I believe with Minister uh, Connie was also speaking too. Um, you know, we had uh, we had some scriptures just came to my mind. Uh, and if y'all jot down notes, you can take notes. Amen. Second uh, Corinthians chapter uh, six and fourteen. It lets us know what: be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For when, Amen. what in fact does fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? It just can't happen. No, it just won't happen. You know, we tell my we're still dealing with, you know, how these are ways in which we can avoid falling into that apostasy state. Amen. And it's just like uh, Deacon Ray was just Amen. alluding to there. You know, God has placed, he's placed everything and he's put everything in position and in place for us, for us not to fall. We have Amen. no, ladies and gentlemen, we have no excuse. You have no excuse. Amen. You really have no excuse. Amen. Amen. God. Amen. And God's word, it's right. Somebody's definitely wrong. The old saints used to sing. God's word is right. Somebody's wrong. <laughs> Amen. 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 Uh, for Second John, uh, chapter one, verses ten through eleven, talks about if there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, this teaching, the word of God, don't don't receive them in your house. But we and we talked about it right. uh, last mm -hmm. week or uh, the prior week. But bid them Godspeed. Don't 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 even bid them. It actually said don't even bid them Godspeed. It said neither bid them Godspeed. I believe the scripture said, right? Amen. Right. Um, you know, uh, Romans chapter one, uh, verse two. I beseech you, therefore, brothers, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy. Unto God, for this is your reasonable service. The second verse goes Amen. on and tells us what? And be not conformed to this world. But you got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may be from what is good and acceptable good and perfect will of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And this is what God is letting us know even in his word. He wants us to, uh, to we got to develop, we got to increase Amen. Let our spiritual man rise up from the, within us. Amen. Mm -hmm. That'll lead us and direct us in our coming and our going. Amen. That we won't be astray. That you won't be. And, 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 we, and our prayer is that we should, like I said even earlier, you got to get around folks that's going to encourage you, that's going to build you up. You Amen. know? Uh, Amen. I used to love that uh, commercial, uh, the Wheaties. You know? A lot of people don't like Wheaties, but I, li I like Wheaties. Put a little sugar on it for me. I'm good. I'm good with it, you know. But the Wheaties, you know how they used to had a commercial, you know, make you believe in you. You eat them Wheaties, you go. You're gonna be strong. You're gonna be all right. Amen. You got to. You have to eat. Amen. And if you and just like I said, yeah. if you don't eat, if you don't feed yourself, uh, uh, uh. you die. I'm you. Amen. Amen. You got to eat. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Eat so that you shall live and you will not die. All right. But you will declare the works of the Lord. Glory to God. Yeah. Amen. 
Glory to Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Colossians chapter 4, verses 5. Amen. And six, well, letting us know that we need to also to, we need to walk in wisdom, even towards them that would are without, redeeming the time. Amen. That's what letting us know. You got to be careful around even those that you, you know, you walk. Listen, God has given me a gift and I'm not going to lose it because of somebody else. And Amen. because of myself. Are y'all hearing me on tonight? Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Oh, God, we just thank you, Lord. On okay. Amen. We yeah, have Pastor, while you're waiting. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. While we're waiting, sir, I'd like to agree with the ministers that spoke earlier in reference to people that's, that's into a life of apostasy, right? They were once part of the body of Christ. But yes. it's one thing, there's one thing that we definitely didn't point out. They were never baptized with the Holy Spirit because if they had been baptized with the Holy Spirit, they would still be part of the body and walk in righteously. Lord have mercy. Okay, oh, so if they baptize, they, if they have to like another baptize Bible study, with the burning man. fire, mm -hmm. they would never mm -hmm. turn their back into a, a life of blasphemy. And, and they, they wouldn't even backslide. Because the Holy Spirit would keep them. It's going to keep mm -hmm. them. All right? Mm -hmm. So as, as the deacon said, as, as Minister Connie said, Jesus said, get away from me because I didn't know you worked miracles. You healed the sick and all that. But we didn't have no Holy Spirit. Mm. You understand? Like they say, the devil, the devil can work, work a little, little magic on you. Oh, he can. All right? But it ain't no ain't no Holy Spirit there. Okay? So Lord that's the difference. Mm. Okay? If you, if you if you baptize and and the Holy Spirit dwelling with, within you, mm. he's not going to leave you. And he's, he's a what? A keeper. Oh, my God. Listen, I, I, hear, I, hear, I, hear, I, hear, I hear a sermon. Were you saved in the first place? Oh, good God. Lord help. That's Where right. You were saved in the first place. In the first. That's right. Were you in God fact saved in the first? Uh-oh. Another Bible study <laughs> discussion. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. You know, another thing I say too, what you saying about separate yourself from people or whatever, whatever. Yes. Amen. We as uh, children of God with the Holy Spirit, we don't fear going anywhere or being around. Oh no! Anybody. Oh no! Oh no! No, no you know fear. What I'm saying because sometimes you know God might put you in a place where that well, one person be a witness. Might mm -hmm. What you think? Amen. Or what you don't. You understand what I'm saying, you know, and it's our mm -hmm. job to bring more people to Christ. Absolutely. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And there's something that I think I read last night when I was, yes, yeah, last night when I was reading the scripture, it says something about when you got the Holy Ghost, you have no fear. Amen. Mm -hmm. you, you, you understand? So, you know, in other words, God takes away that fear away from you. Mm -hmm. yes. And he didn't tell us that he places that you go, some of us don't die for his name. Amen. You know Amen. what I'm saying? There's going to come a time like certain countries right now, they can't even have a Bible, maybe like in Russia. That's right. They can't even worship God. If we're not and careful to come to us. us. And you know, the end of time's going to come. You, you understand? It, but it ain't going to be like it is today. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's already trying to happen. Oh, doubt it. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly that what I'm saying. Huh? That's okay. We don't know. Well, all right. Uh, they trying to do that right now. Take, 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 they trying to take the word of God away from us right now. That's why they said study it to show yourself approved and put the word of God in your heart. Because man is changed, making new Bibles every day and they changing the words. And pretty soon they look, they forcing stuff upon us. They want to poke us with needles and all this stuff and take away your rights. Um, it's just a matter of time before we'll be one of those countries where we have to meet in the basement 
That's for me up. and somebody seller because uh what's going on in the countries. Yeah. Uh, we get background noise from somebody's line. I don't know. I who guess that's is. another list. Yeah, that's another lesson. I'm gonna um I'm 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 gonna go. I'm I'm actually at the airport, so you might hear my noise. I... Uh, go ahead, go ahead, Minister Larry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just tuning in for a minute. I know you. Yeah, that's people coming off the flight. Oh, but right. yeah, I say you know, as far as being unevenly yoked, you know, with the non-believers. Yes. You know, because you have to have you have to have a part because if you go in by yourself, uh, just like somebody, you know, if, if you go and say, oh yeah, well. Somebody had asked me about casting out some demons. And I thought about it. He said, because you got to be prepared for that. You have to. Yes. <laughs> you know, because they'll jump on you and they'll you your butt. Jesus. <laughs> you know, but uh, that unevenly yoga, that's why Jesus, he set an example. He don't want to, he said, listen, you go out two by two. Yeah. Amen. That's what you know. Said. You, you don't that's go right. out by yourself, but you go out two by two. That way you got another believer with you. That's Amen. Right. Amen. That's right. Right. Yeah, I strongly believe that. We don't have we 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 not yeah. trying. Ain't nobody trying to be no long ranger. You shouldn't be wanting to be trying. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, you know that's true, but you got to believe that Jesus is wise. He ain't gonna put you out there by yourself if you can't help. Amen. Right. You know, I'm gonna the say Lord that. ain't gonna he set you up. Disciples out, and he sent them out. Think of it. I think it was seventy-five or hundred. He sent them out two by two, that's you know? Right, that's what, and yeah, I, because right. you know what the yoke is? The yoke is something that's bound together. Yes, you, you understand what I'm saying? But like I said before, my God ain't gonna put you in no home. No, he ain't gonna set you up. Well, you can't handle it. You know, I, I, you know, all I'm saying is that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes God puts us in a place where we need to be to do his work. Oftentimes. Yes, that's why it's so. Yeah, that's why, yeah, Ray, That's why it's so important for us to be prayed up. We have to pray for mine. Pray. My prayer is always that God let you know, Lord, please, Your will be done. Your will be done. Amen. Show us Amen. Your way. Show, show, way. show us Your will. Show us the way in which You would have us to walk, even where we need, where Amen. we need to minister, where we need to go. Lord, wherever our, wherever, our feet, wherever our feet touch, Lord, Lord, just be with us. Guide us, lead us, direct us. my steps. Amen. 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 That, that would be Amen. our prayer. Amen. Amen. And we just need to Lord, my steps, Lord. Amen. Well, Pastor, that comes back in, like we were saying, being led by the Spirit. That's it. Amen. Yeah. The Spirit don't put you there, don't be there. You, you understand what I'm saying? You know, like we talk sometimes. We do things on our own and not with the blessing of Jesus. You know, we got to wait on him at certain times. You, you know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, if we try to keep ourselves walking in the spirit and being led by the spirit, Amen. you know what I'm saying? You know, in other words, you know, as, as I know that I have my own human self, always think, well, Jesus, what would Jesus say? Or what would Jesus mm -hmm. say? Yeah, 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 you understand what I'm saying? And like, you know, when I say something or I speak something, I try to speak it on thus say the word, not of my own thing. Like right, even absolutely. when you preach, you absolutely. say, God, give me what to say. Amen. You know, it's Amen. just like you know, so you might study a sermon to preach on a Sunday. By the time you get to church, God then gave you something else. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Being led by the spirit. Amen. You, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times, like I said before, you know, things could happen. It's just like you said when you had the car accident, when they were shooting up all them bullets. Yeah. None of them, yeah. your band showed up with bullets. Yeah. But God was there with you. Maybe been a little fast or a little slow. Mm -hmm. you might not be here. Uh huh. Thank you, Jesus. You, you understand what I'm saying? And like I said, you know, he was with you then and he's with you now. Yeah. And you know, like I said about Overseer Shaw, she's she been saved for since she was a teenager. Amen. Look at her now. God been walking with her for all these years, being led by the Spirit. That's a that's a blessing in itself. Amen. 
You know, how many people today that you know say that I ain't gonna tell her age, but say I've been saved for 50 years, or I've been saved over 60 years, walking with God, being led by the spirit. That is something that's to, like I say, that's something for all of us. Amen. Lord Jesus have taken care of all these years. Mm. Amen. And she looks good. Glory to God. The beautifulest head of hair that I ever seen for a woman that age. She looks good. And I thank God for her. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I was, as you were talking, I was reminded of that scripture, uh, being led by the Spirit of God. Romans chapter 8, verse 14. It says what? For as many mm. that by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And, and then mm. at verse 15, he goes on to talk about, he says, for you haven't received the spirit of bondage, again, to fear, but you've received the spirit of adoption. Oh, God. Mm. Where we cry, Abba, Father. Glory mm. to God. Amen. It goes on to say in the 16th yeah. verse that the spirit bears witness of our spirit. That we are in the children of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank God for his word. Glory Hallelujah. To God. Thank God Amen. for his child. Amen. Glory to God. And thank God for being led by the spirit of God. Glory to God. I'm done. Amen. 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 Thank God. Amen. Amen. I guess we touching on ways to, to, to not fall into that state of apostasy. Ain't that right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Amen. sir. Yes, sir. God. Glory to God. Amen. That's Roman 8. Roman 8. Last night. Verse 14 uh, through 60. Actually, you could go. That whole chapter is phenomenal. I mean, all of God's word is good. Y'all hear me? All of God's Amen. word. Amen. Amen. And then, Amen. listen, God, he, he go, Paul goes on to encourage us even more in that same chapter. I, I believe around verse 17, he goes on to talk about, he says, and if the children then as of God, and if we're joint as of God with Christ, if then we, so we be suffered with him, that we may be also glorified together. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. For mm -hmm. I reckon, Amen. he goes on to tell us, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed mm -hmm. God from Zion. All right. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Get in this word, family. Amen. This word. Go with the God. Go with the God. Mm -hmm. We thank Amen. you. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Your word is truth. Glory to God that yeah. endures through all generations. Your word is true, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Glory to okay. God. I feel this word. Hold That's you. why, Pastor. That's why, Pastor, especially in times like this, we got to pray to God and ask God to baptize us with the Holy Come Spirit on. such yeah. that we would have that that spirit of discernment, so okay. we can tell the false prophets that's and teachers. That's, that's, we, and that's right. We have to have wisdom and knowledge uh -huh. and discernment. Okay, because like you said, when Jesus did send them out two two by two, that's so they could pray for one another. Okay, sure. and keep keep up lifting one another. Back. Yes, got to watch each mm -hmm. other back. When well, them devils are out there, mm -hmm. uh, we not mm -hmm. we are not walking this world by ourselves when. when so when Lucifer left heaven, he brought a lot of spirits with him, and they are jumping in and out of these people. And yes, they mm -hmm. are. Oh, well, like yes, they are. That's why and, all and, this crazy and, stuff is going on now because enemy working overtime. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Amen. Like I said, as a member, as a member of the body of Christ, we all are given certain gifts. My gift is different from yours, and yours from mine. But together we can enhance the body. So uh -huh. if you know that this person, so we have to pray and ask God to give us revelation to what our gift or our talent is, uh -huh. such that when there's time to go out to minister, to evangelize, whatever, God ain't gonna give us the spirit of fear, no. but you will have that spirit of discernment such that when you're dealing with a certain uh, sinful issue, uh 
Hallelujah. You'll know whether you have that gift or talent to, to deal with this or not. Sister M Minister mm -hmm. Tiny might have that gift to deal with this, 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 this uh, uh, person that needs to be um, uh, prayed, for. prayed for. She Everybody might be a pray pray. prayer warrior. I, I might not be a prayer warrior. You understand? Or she might need an exorcist or somebody lay, lay it on the hands. God bless you. Mm. This person might, might need to be anointed and laid on gift because that's a gift. You understand? Everybody can lay on hands. Jesus called some and some just went. You understand? So when a person needs to be laid on hands such that it would be healing, you understand? You have to have that person that's anointed and given that gift by God to lay on hands. Don't be like the sons of Sceva. You understand? Well, no, but we are not like the sons but, of Sceva. What, what I'm saying is, so you have to ask God to revelation to that's reveal right. what it says when it's time for you to go out there, mm -hmm. you'll know <laughs> through the sermon what kind of a uh, 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 gift or talent is, is desired here. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I hear you. You, you understand? You understand what I'm trying to say, Pastor? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Each each member of the body is for the fingers do one thing. The hand, the, the, the fingers turn into a fist. It does a different thing all together. Uh -huh. that, that's why uh -huh. Jesus said some things you can pray, 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 but some things come by fasting and praying. And the word and, and the word even says some people. You better just leave alone because God could be the church them over to a reprobate mind. That's right. You understand? So you can pray for them all you want. But God, the God is finished with them. God loves us all as his children. His children mean that you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and you, and God is the Father and the Holy Spirit dwells within you. What Jesus Christ said, who is my brother? Who is my mother? Those that profess that I am a son of God and he is our heavenly father. If they Come don't on. do that, Leave them alone. All right. Woo! Come on now. And, um, I, I had I had that experience by running up on some of them other people's children out there in the world. And that was when I was out there doing evangelism. I was out there just fresh with a group of people. And we ran up on this one big guy. And we already had been praying and giving tracts to different people. We ran up on this big guy. He said, get away from me. And he said, okay, we gone across the street. Because we were not able to deal with whatever that was, mm -hmm. standing there with his big body. No, that's not. You know, so God gives you wisdom, yeah. wisdom, knowledge, and discernment. You better know. Yeah. And we as children of God, we know. Discernment. You know, if, if we're not equipped, you better keep the stepping because yeah. only Jesus can move in and take that place. Yes. Because yeah. we don't have no power against no demon by ourselves. It's all in the name of Jesus. Unless you have that gift of power. Unless. Right. Yeah. Now, y'all, everybody, I just I, I just love, hey amen, I love this discussion on tonight. I, but I love going to the scriptures, the reference which y'all talked about. Uh, yes, sir. For those of you taking uh, notes, Mark chapter 6, verse number 7. Also, Luke chapter 10, verses 1 through 10. I may uh, go there. But uh, Mark chapter 6. And verse seven tells us what it says. And what did Jesus do? And he called the 12 and he began yeah. to send them forth uh, 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 two. by two. And he, yes, did, two by two. and he also go, and it goes, the scripture goes on and says, and he also gave the power over yes. our spirits. After the Holy Spirit come upon us, we shall ask ourselves what we're going to have power. Glory yeah. Yes, we will. Yeah. God. Amen. 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 Luke chapter 10, verses 1 through 20 also talks about it too, where Jesus sent out 72. And the Lord appointed 72, 72 others and sent them out two by two. And he sent them mm -hmm. of him to every town and every place. Amen. That's talked about Luke chapter 10, verses 1 through 20. Y'all can read it for yourself. Amen. Okay. But God's word is, I'm, I love it. I love it. Amen. Right. amen, 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 amen. And just as Minister Larry was talking about, amen. That's why uh, we're excited, amen. Even uh, those of us that are up here in, in Jersey, and even where you are, family and friends, those of y'all that are in your various cities, I know we got family and friends that's on here, even on tonight. Those of you that are watching even this recording, I don't care where you are in this country. I don't care what city you may be in. 
Amen. God's got a calling on your life. Amen. 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 Today, more so than ever before, that we get about our father's business. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Witnessing and, and, and winning souls for the kingdom. Glory to yeah. God. Amen. Amen. And we're excited because the weather looks like it's trying to start breaking. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> we're going to we hit the road. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Right here in Newark, New Jersey. Amen. 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 Believing that God's gonna change lives, set free, the heal, save, and deliver. And deliver. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And we give God a praise in advance. Hallelujah. And we thank God. And we thank God for our place of worship. But I, I believe that it's not even gonna be even where we at. Ain't gonna be enough room to contain what God's about to do. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, amen. And we're thankful unto thank God. Lord. Amen on tonight. Amen. This has been awesome. Anybody else have a comment? Amen. Or uh, 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 want to share? Come on. Amen. Real quick. Uh, we're going to sign off in a little while. You know, when you, when you talk about the 72 that he sent out two by two, they didn't have the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. but, but when they came back, they told them people got healed in his name. That's Just by the name of Jesus. That's it. You know, uh -huh. Christ was with them on earth. So you know what I'm saying? They didn't have the Holy Ghost, but they went out with the faith and the believing on him, and they did miracles to him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You know, and it, like we always talk about, God has a plan. He's got a plan. He does. You know, he know what we're going to do tomorrow, next week. Amen. You know, already. You, you, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, I, I, I just thank God, you know what I'm saying, that mm -hmm. he's saving us and giving us this promises, giving us the Holy Ghost, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, because a lot of the time, like I said, oh, you, know, you know, even when we talk about mm -hmm. the people living in the, in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. they didn't have the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Amen. But they had faith. And but they had the word of God. Amen. You, you, you know what I'm saying? And, and like I said before, he knew we couldn't do it all alone. That's the why he told us we couldn't live by bread alone. Amen. We need that spirit to keep us going. Amen. You, you, you know what I'm saying? And you know, we talk and we talk. And you know, I'm so glad the people are coming in the church. But I want the people to come in the church to get right with God. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. If they ain't been Amen. baptized, get baptized That's with right. the water and the spirit. Amen. You know, a church full of people and they ain't saved, you might as well <laughs> not. Amen. That ain't doing God's business. Sure ain't. We want people to come in and, you know, like I said, hopefully it'll be sinners that come in. Because if you have the Holy Ghost and you're saved already, that's not building, you know, the body of Christ. What? You, you understand what I'm saying? It's like when you talk about we're going to go to the streets. You're going to the streets to get sinners. Amen. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Whether it be our friends, our, our family, or whatever, whatever, who ain't saved. You understand? That's the one we want to bring to the church and give them the, the fruit and the spirit and the word of God. Yes. Amen. You know, you know the whole idea when you talk about what we're going to take to the streets, what are we taking to the streets for? To bring in souls. Hallelujah. I, think, I ain't going to say no more. I'm going to leave it alone. It's been a quick word tonight. Amen. <laughs> God bless you, Dee. Let, Amen. Let your light so shine. Amen. You understand? Amen. Let your light so shine. Just that people that see you walking up right, iron sharpens iron. Okay. When you walk in the Christian walk, you lead by example. You lead by example. Sometimes you don't have to open your mouth and let people know that you are a child of God. It's the way that you walk and present yourself. Mm -hmm. So iron sharpens iron. That's yeah. what's important. And, how and if you live. if if you are saved and Holy Ghost filled, ain't no way nobody gonna be around you that doesn't get get saved. You understand? Because you are not the vessel of God yourself. Mm -hmm. If you are not the vessel of God and you're walking upright and you have been baptized and filled with a with a burning fire 
ain't no way nobody around you that's unsaved gonna stay. So like I said, if you ain't got but three people within the house, as long as those people receive the word and walking up right, they're gonna draw, they're gonna draw others. Why? Because you are leading by example. God is on many, 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 well, some, some was called, a lot of them called, and some just went. Those that were called by God have an anointing on their lives. And as soon as they open their mouth, it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Jesus. God bless you, Amen. D. Hallelujah. You referenced uh, uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that men may see the glorify the Father. Amen. Which is in heaven. Amen. 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 We got to let it That's it. Glory to yeah. you. Amen. 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 16. Let your light so shine. Amen. 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 Who's the light? Anybody else who have a uh, comment want to share uh, real quick before we get ready to come? I just say it's been getting better. It's been getting better and better every week. And I just thank God that I'm able to get on when I am. And my prayer and my desire is God keep me in my right mind. And God, save me the more, sanctify me the yes. more, because the time that we're Amen. living in, we're living in some serious Amen. dangerous Amen. time. And Amen. we got to know that we know that we are saved. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. We got to know. We can't assume. We cannot assume. We got, got to, to know, know these things. Amen. Because we're going to be tried. We're going to be tried. And we just have to know that we are where we said we are Amen. in Christ. It's going to come proven to us. It's mm. going to come proven time. And so we got to be yeah. ready. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, you ain't fooling nobody but yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. I always say, if I don't make it in, then ain't nobody's fault but my own. Amen. 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 There you go, bro. You know, and I don't care who it is. If you don't make it in, it ain't nobody's nobody. fault but your own. All these people here on earth don't mean nothing. Because Jesus knows. Yes, he does. You know he saying? knows. That's it. Glory Amen. I, Amen. Hallelujah. Word, uh, Minister Sandra, that brings my mind to First Peter chapter seven, verse. I'm I'm sorry, mm -hmm. First Peter chapter one, verse number seven. Mm -hmm. First Peter chapter one, verse number seven. What does it tell us? That the trial of your faith, having mm. been <laughs> more precious than gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire. Might be found mm. unto praise, yes, honor, yes. to glory at the appearance mm. of Jesus Christ. Mm. Glory to God. Mm. Amen. Amen. We're going to yes. glory. glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All of our faith, but we God. Glory to God. We give God the praise on today. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody shout, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So many of them came and hung up. So many of them came and hung for years and years and years. And they back out in the street. That's it. Just digging. Thank God. They've been for years. And I don't know what happened to make them feel like it ain't worth it. Yeah. Believe me, it's worth Amen. it. It's it worth, worth it all. It. Giving up all that I gave up, Ooh, God. I thank, thank you. Thank you. God, I thank you for giving us all up. Mm. We can be saved, thank sanctified. If we desire to do it, we can do it. Amen. Amen. But you got to want to do it. You got to want to sacrifice. You. It's got to be in your heart. It's got to be in your heart. All this way, we're going to make it. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. 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 Mark chapter 8, verse 36 says, "What For what shall it profit a man? Glory to God. If he's mm. in a whole mm. world and losing, no, listen, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. it, 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 mm -hmm. it ain't worth it. I heard the songwriter say it. You, it ain't worth it. It's not worth it. But I'll take Jesus for mine. Glory to God. Yeah. There ain't enough, uh, uh, enough money in it. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah, but I'll take Jesus. Hallelujah. God for mine. I'd rather have Jesus than Amen. silver and gold. Come on. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Amen. Savior. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Amen. I feel like shouting. Mm. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. My goodness, man. Any, anybody? Oh, Give me Amen. Amen. Well, we thank God for everybody. All of you that are on here, that's on here with us. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Man. At this time, Amen. we need to sign off. We thank God. Amen. All right. This has been awesome. Huh? Man, uh, closing out our, 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 our three week session, amen. Talking about the pattern of apostasy and some of the things we can do to avoid falling in that pattern or that state, amen. And I thank God for everybody that uh, this week after week that's been participating. And those of you that are watching online, we pray that this has been a blessing to you, amen. And we're going to close out in a word of prayer, amen. We thank you, dear God, once again for this. Is the day. Um, amen. We're rejoicing, we're glad in it. We thank you, God, for blessing us, blessing us in, a, in the midst Amen. of the video tonight. We pray, God, that as we leave thank off of this airway, off of this line, uh, internet, thank we Lord. pray, God, that we never leave from your presence. Yes. Continue to shield us in yes, the Lord. God. Yes, Lord. And have your, mm. yes, Lord. your in our life. Yes, Lord. We could be the sons and daughters yes, Lord. of Lord. you, God, that you call upon to do your will and work in this latter day and time. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes. Don't forget. Don't forget. Pray. Pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. 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 Love y'all. Take care, everybody. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey. Amen. 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 God bless you. Pastor Shane, the whole prayer. So, uh, we got prayer call Saturday at 12 o'clock. Amen. God